Pat Dog and Merrill here. I'll tell you what, we're at the Bart Star Plaza. It's tailgate party time. Yes. Lambeau Field is behind us. Remember that last year, Merrill? Uh, yeah, I think I remember. Yeah, you, 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 you. Everything in moderation. We had a great That's time right. here last year. Lambeau Field's behind us. Tis the season for a little football. You got it. Tis the season, boy. And they got some great food and great beverages behind us. Absolutely. Come on out to the Bart Star Packer Plaza. It's absolutely fun time. Now, I'll tell you what. Today we're gonna soak up the sun and soak yes. up the glory. Oh, glory! I like yeah. that. Merrill's got a little bit of a favorite recipe. I'm for excited. Everybody wants to know if you're really at home, what do you really enjoy when you're watching football? I'll show you and This I is truly, this is one of them right there. Onion and cheese, match made in heaven, but this is even better, man. I got some Merck's cheese. I got some of the onion in there. And what makes this even better, the, and I'm going to call it the cat's meow. You got to try this, folks. It may sound gross, but I'll tell you what. You put a smoke oyster on that baby. Really? Yes, and life is good, and I'm going to sit back and enjoy the game. Can I have one? Sure. You want this one? No, we'll be right okay. back. I'll make my own. So you folks stay tuned. More of Mad Dog and Merrill in just a moment. Mm. It's Parker tailgate time. Mm. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by... Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills. All natural golden plump chicken, Minnesota and Wisconsin raised. It's golden good. Cherry Delight, a Door County original. Door County Distillery. Crisp Kraut, the world's finest sauerkraut, proudly produced in Wisconsin for over a century. Fat Louie's Olive Oil, Door Peninsula Winery. Experience the flavor of Door Peninsula Winery. And Merck's Cheese Spread. Well, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's tailgate party time. You got it, buddy. You got it. We're at the Bart Star Plaza in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Lambeau Field's behind us. And I'll tell you what, Merrill had his famous Merck's cheese on a cracker yes. with his smoked oysters. You got it. Life's good. And it was delicious. But we're going to show you some other great ways to use Merck's cheese spreads. And here he is, my favorite. This one's actually called Tailgate Taters. Tailgate Taters. Merck's Tailgate Taters. All right, sounds good. We're going to take a nice baked potato. I'm going to cut some paddles, about four paddles per tater. Now, I All did right. these last night, and I put them in a Ziploc baggie. I added a couple wedges of lemon, ah. the acid so the potatoes don't turn, and some wonderful oil in there to seal it all in. So I did these last night, and they're as clean as possible because of the acid of the lemon. So you can do these ahead of time. Start your grill on a medium direct heat and brown them up just like a burger. And here's my toppings. I'll show All you right. those in a minute. Of course, we have green and gold. Yeah, I gotta have green and gold. Green and gold, green and gold, green and gold. Now you can use over here your own favorite if you're a purple lover. You can use yeah. the purple onions, that's for sure. Or your favorite team colors, because that's what it's all about. And of course, you have to have bacon bits. You gotta have bacon? You always gotta have bacon, It just man. goes good with taters. <laughs> so we have, we, we chose Merck's beer cheese spread. All right. So I'm gonna go back yonder. All right. And I'm gonna show these nice taters. Good job, sir. And there, there's the there's the taters. Those are done to perfection right there. Beautiful job. So they're piping hot. So I'm going to let these sit right here. All right. Sounds and good. And I'll show you how this is done. Just I'll do one or two, and then, Meryl, you can do yours. All right. So I'm going to take these. are all done. They're on the grill. We're going to take a tablespoon of Merck's cheese. I chose the beer one. You can use any one of Merck's great flavors. We're going to put the spoonful over the top of each one. A little green, a little gold, and a little green. Okay. And a little bacon bits. Those are gonna be good. And then when I'm done doing all that, we're gonna put the hood down, wait about one minute, minute and a half, just enough for that Merck's cheese spread to melt a tad bit. Oh. And we're gonna have tailgate taters. So all tell, right. what you, you up to? You know, I'm gonna do Merck shrooms. Not mushrooms, I gotta do Merck shrooms. Very easy. Now, today I'm gonna go be using the uh, the Merck's sharp cheddar. I like the sharp cheddar. Very simple deal. I'm gonna do stuffed mushrooms today. As you can see, I got a big old mushroom. I took the stem out of it. You can do it on smaller ones if you like. But what we've got here is I've got some green onions, top onions, and then I've also got some gold peppers. I'm gonna mix that in there. Place that on. And then I'm gonna use some uh, breadcrumbs. You know, 
They're good. As you always know, man, I don't measure anything. You just got to go with the flow. You got to go what you feel, all right? So I'm going to put about a couple tablespoons, and if I need some more breadcrumbs in there, I'll put it in there. But what I'm going to do is put two good heaping, heaping tablespoons of cheese, all right? See How you doing, there? Meryl? I'm doing good, Mad Dog. I'm doing good. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, and you actually got to use your hands. We got a green and gold tailgate party behind oh, us man. today, let me tell you that. That's it. I'm mixing this up. This is very easy to do. The breadcrumbs are good, as you can see. And I like to use a little bit more breadcrumbs. I like it a little bit drier in there. Place that in. Mix it all up. I'm all set for that. And then I'm going to just stuff my shrooms with it. And you'll see afterwards what we've got done with the shrooms. But look at this. Look at that, baby. I just love man. it. Look at that. Even the bee loves it. There you go. Very good. All right. So now what are you going to be doing? Well, here, let, me show the, let me show some of those All mushrooms. Right. All right. Oh. Now, the, the mushrooms were cooked on the grill. We kind of did ours a little bit on a low heat direct for about seven, eight minutes to get the catalyst flowing, to get them going a little bit, to you get the it. movement going. And then we shut off the middle part and slow cooked them indirect. And those are the uh, beautiful Merck shrooms with the sharp cheddar Merck's cheese in there. Those look delicious, Merrill. Good job. You, sir. I Thank think we you. should cut one open. Can we? Absolutely. Ooh. I just want to show you. Isn't that delicious? Can I try it to see if it tastes sure, good? Sure, you can do that while I do my recipe All right, here. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Mm. Oh, now man. here's another great idea. And we're gonna choose, we're gonna do. We're gonna go a different fall color today. We're gonna do Badger Burgers with a Bite. Oh. But remember, you can use your team colors. But Badger Burgers with a Bite, of course, we have to have a little bit of red. Sure. And we're gonna do some burgers, so we have to have the burgers. And our Merck's cheese of the day, because it's with a bite, is the horseradish cheese spread. Which is one of my favorites, I have to admit. Okay. Just one hunt. Don't peek, yeah. nobody peek. Everybody turn around. Turn around. Not you, Meryl. I'm looking right at it. Okay, hold on. Okay. Turn it around now? Oh, man, I'll tell you. I must have turned the wrong way. <laughs> We've got right. two different patties. Now, Merck's has a great thing. Yes. You're, you're a Merck's man, and you have to have your own end zone dance. So Meryl's going to do his end zone dance. Come on, Meryl, shake it up. Shake it, act like you're in the end zone, like you've been there before. Got up, boy. <laughs> okay, we got a couple mm. burger patties. Okay, that's enough, you ham. Oh, man. You got a couple burger patties here. Uh, we're going to add some green olives with the red pimentos. All right. We're going to add a little bit of green, uh, red onions, uh, red peppers, little yeah. red peppers in there. Now, here's the bite. This is Merck's cheese spread. This is their horseradish mm. cheese spread. And I'm going to add a little dab in four corners. We're going to do oh, three like corners that. with this one. Little three corner action. Take the other burger, you place it on top, a little pressing, and you crink the inches and you pinch them. And you got yourself a beautiful badger burger with a bite. But that's not all, folks. You put these on the grill till desired doneness. Let them slow cook. I browned mine up a little bit, then moved it over where there was no heat. But here's here's the here's the key. Oh man. Just before serving, let me take these off here. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Hold that for you. Sure. Just before serving our badger burgers with a bite, we put a little horseradish cheese spread on top when they were done. We put a little ring. I'm going to put my potatoes on there, too. Oh, go ahead. We put a little ring of red pepper on there to reinsure the fact of your own fall colors to whatever college team or pro team you may root for. I like that, pro team. Pro team. <laughs> <laughs> These are pro team. Yeah, go pro team. Yep, there's about 40 grams of pro team in there. <laughs> We'll have to coin that phrase, yes, won't we, we Mr. Merrill? Now, there's the, there's the gorgeous Badger Burgers with a bite. Uh, the, there's the cheddar taters. The, what are they called? Tailgate taters. Yes. We got so many things going here. Let me just set that right there. See if we get a beauty good. shot of everything. Good presentation. So that just proves when you're at a tailgate party, Right. Or in your own backyard, there's nothing that you can't create. That's right. Be creative out there. Get those juices flowing. Oh, you want to see juices? Fill juice, yes. Watch this. Watch this. Rod, the cameraman, get ready. Oh. Oh, beautiful, sir. Gorgeous. You know what's great about the Merck's cheese? That's that. Is that the cheese magically disappear, dis disappears inside, but the flavor goes throughout the burger. 
It's Pretty just good. phenomenal. Pretty so good. those are great ways to do three different ways to do great tailgate recipes. We're going to be right back with more yeah. action. We're not leaving. Well, not a lot of action. But no, you know, no. At our age, we don't have that much action. No. No, we don't. No, we don't. Not at all. Not at all, really. All right. We'll be okay. right back. Yeah, yeah, we will. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you in part by Door County Distillery, distilling the spirit of Door County. Hey, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grill. I made a mess. You always make a mess. I know. I'll tell you what. Thank goodness I have my tailgate towels handy. You're a good man. I use those babies all the time. They're absolutely great. Everyday use. And you know what? My, my kitchen's pretty ugly. This is the only thing that looks good in my kitchen. <laughs> well, I'm, <laughs> I'm soaking up the glory today. You are soaking up the glory. With our tailgate towels. And I certainly did make a mess. And we're going to get rid of that right, right now. All right. We're going to talk a little bit about marinades on the grill, if you don't mind. Sure. When you talk about tailgate time, we talk about three things. Right. We talk about good football, yep. good food, and tailgate etiquette. Tailgate etiquette. I just made it uh, up. I, you know, I think that's the first time I've ever heard of tailgate etiquette. Well, uh, we're, oh, you are elegant today. On well, that. I, we have. We're both using some great golden plum chicken. Right. Naturally delicious. And whenever Mad Dog and Merrill use chicken, it's always golden plump, and we suggest the same for you folks. I got three bags, three separate bags of golden plump, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. All right. We're going to talk a little bit about marinades right now. We marinate okay. not to tenderize, but to give a little character, personality, and flavor to cuts of meat. Sure. Marinades have three major ingredients. Three. We have an acid in there to break down the surface tissues, so we work the flavorizers into it, and then we seal it all in with an oil. And it's easy enough to make your own marinades, but we have a wonderful nature's garden, which is an herbal teriyaki, right. a wonderful lemon pepper, or you can use it also as a white barbecue sauce. That is correct. But it makes a darn good marinade and an Italian harvest. And I've got three bags of chicken. I'm gonna marinate these anywhere from 30 minutes to 12 hours. It's your choice depending on your time. Yeah. So we're gonna give our Italian harvest a good shake. And that's how easy it is to do marinations on the grill. Little lemon pepper over there, and a little bit of nature's garden right there. Herbal teriyaki and chicken were made for each they other. They were. So what nature's garden, Italian harvest, lemon pepper, just give it a good old shaking, place it in your refrigerator, place it in your refrigerator anywhere from 30 minutes to 12 hours, yeah. and you give it character, personality, and flavor before presenting your golden plum chicken to the grill. That's right. You got it, good joint. Now I've got some great looking legs. You're hallucinating again. No, I mean on, the, on here. Here I got some great looking legs. Am I still hallucinating? They're pretty good looking. All right. Doing chicken legs, breeze. You know what I want to do today? At first, I was going to use our barbecue wow, sauce. Wow, your and legs things. are golden plump. <laughs> they are golden. <laughs> My legs have been golden plump for years, buddy, I'll tell you. The big thing that I want to talk about today is I'm doing chicken legs. You know, everybody goes, okay, let's have hot wings or whatever. I'm just doing good old plain chicken legs today. You got, you got a handle on it, you man. You got a handle on it, got to hold on to it. There again, I had no idea you were doing marinades, but I'm going to do marinades too, but I'm only going to use one marinade today. All right? And all I'm going to use He's is He's hallucinating the, again. I'm hallucinating. I'm hallucinating. I've got some Italian harvest, all right? I'm going to marinate the chicken Italian harvest. I had done this earlier. And what's really nice about this is you don't have to use that much. You know, just even for years, matter of fact, I'm not even going to open up my bottle. I'm going to use some of yours that you had in there. Sprinkle that a little bit in there. Hi, Mama. Let's call me your little squirt. <laughs> Reason. There were more reasons than one, too, that she called. Whoa! I lost my leg, man. You got me. Get up! Up, 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 up. All right, get up there. All right. Wait, now, look at that. You made a darn mess again. I did again. make a mess. Clean that up, will ya? I got to add my tailgate uh, towels Give me those me. tailgate towels. I got to wipe my hands, too, will ya? Sure. Hey, they peach. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. So, you know, people probably don't recognize Meryl because he's got glasses on. That's right. There. <laughs> Oh, how's that? Okay. Anyway, I marinated these. I marinated these for 30 minutes. No, no, it's on the, it's on the thing right here. See, oh, that's, that's me right there. That's me right there. See, I got to held up like this. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. All right. I went ahead and grilled these. Out of control. He's out of control. Yeah, there you go. I grilled these indirect. You can even grill them direct about 45 minutes. Delicious. But at the end, I used good old Grandma Hazel's at the end. Flavorful. As you can see, indirect, they come out nice and tender. Let me sh let me show you how tender these are. Are He's you ready? He's going to eat on film again, ladies and gentlemen. 
Life is good. Life is good. We'll be right back from the Bart Star tailgate, from the Bart Star Plaza tailgate party at Lambeau Field in Green Bay. We'll be right back, folks. Mm. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by All Natural Golden Plump Chicken, Minnesota and Wisconsin raised. It's golden good. How about there? Hey folks, <laughs> we're having a we're having a uh, party here. We're at the the Bart Star Plaza. It's a tailgate party here. It's each and every week when the weather gets a little more incumbent. Today we're soaking up the sun, right? But they move it indoors, and indoors or outdoors. Uh, this is this is a great picture of Aaron Rodgers here, and it's actually Aaron Rodgers with the 2011 Most Valuable Player. This portrait is done by Andrew Goralski. Goralski, and and this is Andy right here. And Andy's been around for, for a long time. He's done Reggie White. You've done uh, Brett Favre. A lot of the Brewers, uh, uh, the, the, the Younts, the Molitor, Molitors and things like that. He's done some great, great prints. And, and, and you can get hold of Andy. Uh, he's from Oconomowoc. You can go to 414-750-0791. 414-750-0791. It's right on the screen. 414-750-0791. Or you can go to andygoralski.com. That's on the screen too. Thank and you can you can purchase this Aaron Rodgers gorgeous, gorgeous print or an original if you want. Or an, or an original, you know, if you want. <laughs> but you can get hold of Andy and do that. And uh, it's a it's a beautiful photo. And I've seen some of your other work, and you do a wonderful, wonderful job. We do appreciate it. It's it's things, it's things like that that make the history stay alive wherever you're doing tailgate parties. Uh, right now, I'm going to talk a little bit about, uh, real quick, on rubs. Are you? Yeah, I okay, am. Okay, okay. And I I'm going to talk about rub. coffee rubs, standing next to my best friend, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> coffee rubs are easy to do, and it's three equal parts, and they're fun to do. it. I'm going to show you the beauty shot first. All right. These are some wonderful pork, and I actually put the rub on overnight, and I seared them up on the grill. And it's very easy to do. In today's recipe, I did one third gram of hazels. Okay. One third coffee right out of the canister, the pre perk grounds. It's going to sound gritty, but it melts like you see over the top of pork roast. Wild game for you for your hunters out there, and brown sugar. Equal parts of herbs and spices. Gram of hazels if you like, please coffee and brown sugar you blend that together you can put it over the top of any type of cut of meat place it on the grill it seals in the moistures just beautifully i love it i love it good job sir thank you what you making curses foiled curses. again <laughs> foiled again all right it's time for some bloody marys and we're talking of regular bloody marys and we're talking of bloody mary bratwurst which is very easy to do we got some pickles in there gonna throw some pickles matter of fact i'm throw some pickles in here too I got some jalapeno peppers. Oh, I love jalapenos. Oh, they're all spicy. Are the up. seeds in there? The seeds are in there. Yes. The jalapeno pepper in and there, the too. The seeds are in right? there. Now, if you like a little horseradish, will do her. I like horseradish. A couple good scoops of horseradish. It's going to spice it up oh, a little bit. Oh, man. I love you Silver Springs bit. horseradish. I do, too. Over a little, uh, in there. What are you doing back there? Well, I got to make a little, uh, well, I, all right. Everybody sees it. Okay. I guess I can show my Bloody Mary, okay. Now I'm gonna use Grandma Hazel's. Where is she? She's right here in the bottle. She always yeah, was. Uh, I'll tell you at home if you, <laughs> yes, she was. She lived to be 98 years old. Here's the one thing, Bloody Mary's at home. Grandma Hazel's on Bloody Mary's. Garlic, peppers, onion, fennel, dill, celery, red pepper, green pepper, onion. It's like a smorgasbord you with every her. drink. You got her. Not that and a little bit go. of vodka. You know what? We have a lot of friends that do use our recipe. They put vodka in this. I'm no stupid nut. I'm going to put the vodka in my Bloody Mary. I'm not going to waste vodka on there. But here's the nice thing about this. We use a little bit of Bloody Mary juice on there. Pour it just like you would as the beer. That's going to be, and then you put that back on the grill. That's right. I'm going to let that simmer for a good 30 minutes. So Stir can you add a little around. bit of Worcestershire in there? Did you add the Worcestershire? Yeah, I'm going to put some more in there. Go oh, ahead and sprinkle man. some on there. Whoa, what the heck? Okay, all right, a little bit on here. Keep it away from, <laughs> I, I just, just keep about, everything <laughs> away from Aaron Rodgers. I was just thinking about doing yep. that. I could see Andy's look then if that one's gonna say, whoops, sorry, Aaron. Let me say Andy Goralski one more time, right, andygoralski.com. You got it, bud. <laughs> Did you put my Worcestershire sauce on my Bloody Mary? 
I think you did. Oh no, I didn't put it here. I might have splashed it in there. Hold on. Thank you, thank you. Oh, life, life's good. Thank you, thank you. There we go, there we go. Love Grandma Hazel. Life I'll tell you is right, good. We're going to be back to wrap this baby up in just two and two. Chuck. Mmm. <laughs> That's refreshing. That is so good. There's nothing like bottled water and tomato juice. <laughs> Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you in part by Cherry Delight, a Door County original. Well, I'll tell you what, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We are at the Bart Star Plaza tailgate party, Lambeau Field, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Look at the fun, look at the fun they're having They're having a there. good time out there, time. that's for sure. If ever you come to a Packer game, you gotta come to the Bart Star <laughs> Plaza. That's how great of a time. Hey, we'd like to thank some folks here today. Yes. We have uh, uh, Merck's Cheese, uh, tailgate towels, and of course our, our brand new friend Andy Gorolski uh, with those go gorgeous prints the, 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 uh, of Aaron Rodgers yeah. when he was the most valuable player last year. Just gorgeous, gorgeous prints. And we're having a great time here today. We're going to continue the party without you folks. Yep. We're kind of sorry. Yeah. So we're going to have to say goodbye. Happy tailgating, happy trails. Until next happy time. Trails. Happy trails to you. Join us every Sunday morning for tasty tips, tricks, and techniques on Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin'. Until we meet.